As highlighted in the Introduction to Interpreting in Unit 1, the task of interpreting essentially consists in source language comprehension plus target language production in real time. In simultaneous interpreting, these two subtasks must be carried out in parallel. Preparatory exercises for interpreting therefore focus on comprehension and production skills, and specifically for simultaneous interpreting, on the skill of listening and speaking at the same time. Understanding is crucially dependent on prior knowledge. Therefore, acquiring a broad knowledge base, including language as well as world knowledge, is the best preparation for the task of language comprehension. But having knowledge is one thing, and using it effectively quite another. Combining all one's knowledge resources, linguistic, general, technical, and situational, in the process of comprehension requires analytical skills that are difficult to practice. Rapid reading for content is a good option in the visual modality. For interpreting, one would begin with focused listening. Focused listening means concentrating all one's attention on the task. That our listening attention can be shifted is best demonstrated by the cocktail party effect. That is, the ability to focus on a single speaker in a noisy environment. Such focused attention is a prerequisite skill in any interpreting. On this basis, we can analyze what a speaker is trying to say, the point they are trying to make. The comprehension process occurs online. Our understanding develops as we are listening and not only after we have heard the entire utterance. Thanks to our knowledge resources, we may even be able to predict what we are about to hear. This can be illustrated and practiced with so-called close exercises, in which gaps in the middle or at the end of an utterance need to be filled with appropriate expressions. Such gap filling, based on predictions from prior knowledge, can draw on linguistic knowledge about collocations and idioms, for instance, but also on world or situational knowledge. Gaps can therefore be filled with different expressions that all fit the context. From closing as an exercise for training predictive comprehension, it is only a small step to exercises for target language production that focus on finding synonyms. Using the close approach, the goal is to find as many contextually appropriate synonyms as possible and doing so as quickly as possible. Beyond alternative lexical items, this exercise can also encompass phrases, clauses, and sentence-length utterances. In an exercise called oral paraphrasing, the same idea is expressed in different words and syntactic structures. Simultaneous interpreting is a paradigm case of multitasking. The focused attention required for listening and analysis must be divided between source language comprehension and target language production. What is more, attention must also be devoted to monitoring one's output so as to permit corrections or repairs in one's output. Split attention or effective management of attentional resources is therefore the key to simultaneous interpreting. Even in spoken language simultaneous interpreting, multitasking goes beyond the audio channel, as interpreters will also process the speaker's gestures or other body language, as well as any visual material, such as presentation slides. In what is called simultaneous interpreting with text, interpreters have the speaker's script in front of them. When speakers read from their script, Interpreters can process both what they hear and what they see in print before them during the comprehension phase. In the case of trans-speaking, such multimodal multitasking also occurs in the production phase, when the text output of the speech recognition system is monitored for errors and perhaps even corrected manually using a keyboard. Multitasking skills 
can be developed and improved to the point of automation through practice. Learning to drive a stick shift car is a case in point. However, multitasking is not a generic skill, but largely specific to a given combination of tasks. Multitasking drills like counting while reading are unlikely to boost this complex attention management skill. Rather, the specific task as such, with a suitable progression in the level of difficulty, must be practiced in order to acquire the skill. For simultaneous interpreting, this is what Unit 4 of this ILSA course module is all about. In the present unit of this module, Unit 2, the emphasis is on two types of preliminary exercises that are specifically related to simultaneous interpreting. Others, like focused listening and close exercises, apply to interpreting in general. The exercises in Unit 2 are shadowing and simultaneous paraphrasing. Both involve the skill of listening and speaking at the same time, in the same language. While shadowing only requires verbatim repetition, either immediately or with a delay of a couple of seconds, which is called phrase shadowing, paraphrasing requires re-expressing the content in other words and syntactic structures. These two exercises are explained in greater detail in the learning resources offered in this unit.